like um, unruly hair when you wake up in the morning. It needs to be combed a little bit. And I love working on top of phone books because I've got this crummy ink that I'm messing around. And if I, if I move the plate around, I can keep the uh, messy ink um, off the table. I don't have to clean it constantly. And we ink up on glass surfaces so we clean up easily. So obviously I'm going to wipe the ink off. So I don't want to leave tons of ink on here. I want to get off as much as I can. So I'm scraping it back off. Okay. Next step is I'm going to start picking up some of the ink off the surface. So I use one of these handy dandy things called a tarlatan, which is a rag that has a, it's, it's kind of like a heavy cheesecloth, has a lot of starch on it. Now ink is attracted to ink, so I like using dirty ones. Clean ones are a little more problematic. So I'm just going over this plate, and, and um, I don't want to press real hard, because if I press too hard, I'm just grinding the ink back on. I'm trying to get the ink to bounce off. And because ink's attracted to ink, if I, if I go sort of softly on it, um, it, it, it tends to draw up more. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some foam book. And foam book has, a, um, has some oil in it. So the same principle of oil attracting oil. Back to clean rags. You can see that there's ink around the edges. And that's, um, ink likes to stick to surfaces. We want it to go in the center, but it can really stick around edges. So I'm using a straight finger here. And I'm just wiping off these edges. Paper, when it comes, has a real starchy finish on it. So we've had this paper soaking. It's called in a damp pack. So the paper is damp and it's a little softer. Now I'm going to take a sheet of this paper and I'm going to put it between two blotters. And I'm going to grab my rolling pin. Let's go over it real quickly. Take the excess moisture out. Then I'm going to take my paper and take my plate and walk over to the press. And you only want to touch the press with clean hands. This could be a dirty one. And I put on this handy piece of uh, plexiglass that's got an interior marking that shows me where the plate goes and a larger marking that shows me where the paper goes. And I'm going to keep that in the center of the press bed. And I'm going to put my plate down. And then I can mark the paper over it. Stick it down. Now, as we go on, we're going to put some um, little sheet of newsprint over the top of this because it keeps some of the moisture from getting up the blankets. Uh, press always has three blankets. The bottom one's called a swan. I use the English term, which is really nice. Middle one's called the cushion. It's a thicker, heavier one. And the top one's called the pusher. So they've got real terminology. Uh, felted wool. We're having a real problem because so many manufacturers have dropped out of the business. It's hard to find them now. A little bit of pressure. And what I'm looking for, the pressure I'm looking for, and it's this, these are the, press, the uh, pressure setters. Steel beds, solid steel rollers. And what I want is this little mark around the edge. I don't know if you can see it, but it's called a plate mark. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of indentation that shows me that I've had enough pressure to press down on it. And if I pull it out, oh. there's print. Now, I left a lot of um, smoke up in that one corner showing that you can get um, some plate tone or grays in it. You didn't clean that as much. Didn't clean that as much. I didn't rub it. Yeah, sure. So, like some so it goes either way. Through the It'll, yeah, and just one pass through. And it's not going to engage. It's fine. Oh. Pretend like you're yeah. steering it your sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> so you have uh, master and commander. Please <laughs> print and just give it a little more pressure. No, I, I want to keep ink from coming up onto the blanket. Because oh. I flip the plate over, I might get a little bit of ink coming out around the edge. And the other reason to use newsprint is that if we do a lot of printing today, these blankets will get wet. So if I use newsprint, it just keeps the blankets dry.
Oops, clean. But see, there's just a tiny bit of ink there that would have gone up on the blanket. On the swan. Oh, you can't really see it. But it changed it a little well, bit. But the gray then got onto the other side. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But we could, um, let's do it one more time, Joel. Let's run it through this way just so people can see it. This is the third time through with one Yeah, and it'll be very faint, but it'll, it'll overlap the edges a little bit. Okay, Joel. Okay. Feel the Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I've got to sit pretty tight. So can you make uh, pasta with this? <laughs> <laughs> that sort of you don't want to get your fingers caught in it. Electronic presses are really dangerous. Let's see, there's, this is a yeah. transfer print. So oh, on the newsprint, I pulled up ink yeah. that oh, was on the paper. On the paper. Mm -hmm. And of course, the quality of paper used, the kind of paper used. This is a fairly coarse paper. Um, and lots of different kinds of paper we can use. So ready to go? Wonderful assortment of prints. I think this contrast between the clean and the dark was really nice. I love the variation of lines in this one. This is just a, a great drawing and again, good variation of the line. These nice little feather marks, um, really well done. Um, Joel is, is working with leaves and detritus. What's fun is to see the progress from his first to his second. It's quite different, but a good example of drawing back into it. I love. Lori's here. Um, could have done a little bit deeper, Lori. It's yeah. such a good drawing. But it's not lost. You've got the drawing. So you can go back over it. That will actually add a little more texture, a little more character can to it. Can you use it? Uh, and this one, I just, I really dig in when I do these. So that's why that one's dark. I put that up just to show people the pin holding, not that I was <laughs> displaying. Love the drawing in this one. Um, you know, you can tell the dark and the, the light. Who's is that? Um, John, you were going to say, I thought you were going to say something oh, about yeah. fixing it. He showed me how he, earlier he said he was going to fix, you could, he would show oh, us how to fix a yeah. mistake. Like where I went out of the line, you know, and you're coloring and you slipped. If, if you walk over here, it's hard to see, but see there's a little line that, that slipped. slipped. Mm -hmm. There was the same line right here. You can see it's, I, I would clean this after it was ink, so there's just a tiny little white impression. But what I did is I took one of the tools and it has a Here. smoother edge yeah. on it. You got the tool? Yeah. So yeah. this is an all-purpose tool. This is an etching end of the tool. And this is a burnishing end. So you can actually use this to smooth the metal back down, take ah. that groove out. Uh -huh. uh, this is a classic dry point. I just love the drawing here and the difference between the really fine lines and the, the thicker lines. Nice ink getting good digging in. That's great. This is one. What's this creature coming out of? Uh, we were just, <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be a bush. It's a tribble. <laughs> it's a tribble with tribbles. Like, yeah. Yeah, like it bush like between three trees. trees. And then look at these wonderful Beautiful. feathers. And, and great because, you know, we have printing mistakes here, if you want to call it a printing mistake, where fingerprints or none of ink or whatever, and then cleaned up a different. I mean, this, these are great to show the different ways of wiping a plate. And the variations you can get. And that's where the, the wiping and getting into a specific spot. That's a whole art in itself, just that way. Yeah. 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 It's all wiping. Once you've done it a few hundred times, it gets easier. <laughs>